All right, hey people, Russ Jensen. So it's uh, 7.20 p.m., 19th day of December, 2018, Salt Lake City, Utah. <laughs> so I've been talking about questions, asking questions, learning how to ask questions. And it's a great skill to develop for all kinds of reasons, but for the purposes of what we're doing with Carrot Bars to uh, share the message of Carrot Bars, we ask some of the initial questions to create a relationship so that we can get the question that we really want to be asking, which is the if I would you type question, which is one of the most powerful sales questions, one of the most powerful questions that you can be asking for any kind of a situation. So, um, and uh, my team leader and mentor, Brian McGinty, is uh, in in his numerous newsletters has talked about this quite a bit about the simple process of getting people to get involved in the business which is basically just sharing the short video message that he has prepared that he has modified with updates on you know most current information that then made available to uh, his team members that so you can send people to watch this information and so the question then becomes is if I ask you to watch this video would you take a look now and let me know if you're interested or our company has this fantastic offer but it's ending in a few days so if I sent over the video would you take a look now and let me know if you're interested so it's the if I would you now what begins to happen, you have to begin to understand a little bit about cell psychology. And Mr. Worre in his book, The uh, Seven Steps to a Network Marketing Professional, goes into this in a little bit of detail about the, the, uh, the psychology behind that question. Because number one, it's saying that you're offering something of value to them. So it's a value exchange. And in this business, we should know all about that because we're doing what? We're asking people to exchange value for value, exchange the value of paper dollars into the value of gold dollars. Secondly, it also puts you in a position of, well, I would say power, but of respect. You're not begging, you're not pleading, it's not a desperate cry. It's a simple question. And it goes to the heart of, how human beings are pretty much hardwired. When you look at the advertising, the marketing, the promotions, it goes on around us all day long, TV, radio, internet, everywhere, movies even. They get you to feel obligated by giving you something. When we give you something, we then have begin this natural feeling of being obligated. And so we're utilizing this understanding now of kind of a psychology that happens in relationships. So I'm saying, hey, look, I have this valuable information that I'm willing to share with you if you're willing to take a look at it. So I'm giving to you and you're giving to me. You're giving to me your attention. You're giving me a commitment to take a look. And this goes back to where you have to have a very powerful why that has to be beyond money, I believe. That why has to become so strong that you absolutely have to know that this information is critical for the long-term well-being and survival of your friends, your family, your loved one, this individual now that you're interacting with who is what a fellow human being Someone that we should innately have some respect and love for because what? They're, with, they're, they're one of part of our species. That's what's been so lost in our society today also. The division, the divisiveness that's been intentionally created, predicated upon the naturally occurring uh, things of the other. But I won't get into that stuff right now. But understanding, if I, would you? Because what's beginning to happen, and we'll talk about this in more detail tomorrow, and Mr. Worry goes to fantastic step-by-step uh, -step, uh, understanding it in his book that I'll probably be reading out of tomorrow. But we're beginning to create the, uh, the situation where they are setting the appointment. They are setting the commitment. They are arranging the time. They are making the obligation to you. 
through the questions that we're asking because the first question is if I ask you to watch a video would you take a look now and let me know if you're interested then the next question is can you or would you watch it right now of course if they answer yes or no or I can't right now we begin this process of additional questions to get them into agreement with us which is going to watch the video but we let them pick the time. We let them make that commitment by the questions that we're asking. So it becomes a skill, but it's a very easy skill to, uh, to uh, develop and master. But like I said, very, very simple questions. We're just asking them to watch a video and asking them to let us know if they're interested. And then it becomes a matter of doing that and being very proficient at that and doing it numerous times. Because once again, we can go back and we'll quote this, Mr. Bill, uh, Bill Britt, about how he created his fortune in Amway. This is his quote. There is no secret. I simply showed the plan to 1,200 people. 900 said no. And only 300 signed up. Out of those 300, only 85 did anything, and out of those 85, only 35 were serious, and out of those 35, 11 made me a millionaire. So, we're not looking for everybody, we want to share it with everybody. So, if I ask you to watch a video, would you? Very, very simple. Very, very simple. So, I'll come back tomorrow, we'll talk about some of the other questions that we can utilize in conjunction with that to get people into agreement with this. And you need to begin working on your why and understanding how important it absolutely is, which then eliminates the fear. Because you're on a mission now. We're on a mission to get as many people on the gold arc as we possibly can. Why? Because we care about them. We care about them and their families, their children, even if we've never met them. We have no duty and obligation to care about them, to help them, to share this information with them, at least give them the opportunity to make an educated, well-informed decision. So, I'll come back and talk to everybody tomorrow. Love you and have a fantastic night. <laughs>